Hey guys, I'm uh, randomly vlogging out of blue. Okay, it's like 3.30 in the morning now, but I can't seem to sleep. And um, in a few more hours, I'm catching my bus back to Malaysia. So I thought, you know, I could sleep early last night, a few hours, few hours ago, and you know, be fresh and ready to go back home. But I was wrong, so my, my body thought um, I was going to nap because I chose to sleep earlier than usual. I slept at around 11 p.m. and then at 12 p.m. Well, when I became conscious, right, I thought I slept for about 3 hours already, but no, I slept for only 1 hour. So at 12, 12 p.m., let's say 12 p.m., about 12 a.m. Right then I woke up and then I couldn't sleep anymore. So I watched some YouTube videos and I thought, okay, maybe after that I can sleep. So around 2, I, tr I tried to sleep again, but I couldn't sleep. And somehow I was quite hungry, so I went to look for 7-Eleven because, you know, I thought 7-Eleven like 24 hours, so I walked towards 7-Eleven in my campus and to my surprise, there was nobody inside and the door was locked, so I was quite disappointed. So I thought, you know, since I'm so hungry, I might as well go out of campus and eat some prata just to fill up my tummy because I really, I am so hungry now, I cannot sleep. Okay, maybe I can't sleep because I'm hungry. But yeah, partly that and also partly because I slept early, earlier than usual. So my body clock went on a panic and you know, now I really cannot sleep. Fuck! I'll probably just crash on a bus later on, I suppose. This is like the usual walking route to the, um, the place called Extensions. Which is um, a place to get food la, for supper. At least the closest place so far la, that I know. It's not very far, but you know, I'm not a fan of walking so as long as I need to walk, it feels quite far anyway. Oh god, the puddles. It rained quite heavily for like for a very long time. It started raining around like, I don't know, 9 p.m.? Then it just rained all the way until like what, 12? And now it's still drizzling. I know I should be using an umbrella but then it's not really um, that noticeable of a drizzle. Yeah, so... YOLO! But well, here's a bus stop. Too bad there's no bus. Oh god, the lights are so bright! It'll be awkward if I bump into somebody and then they see me talking to a camera uh, like in the middle of the night. It's like some drunk guy walking through the streets <laughs> talking to his phone. And we're almost reaching! See that clock tower there? It means extension is closed. Yeah, yeah. I mean close by, not close as in it's close, close. Oh god, the flashing green light. Gotta walk fast. My feet is all wet now because of stupid puddles everywhere. God damn it. I just passed by this thing called the City Harvest Church, which is just in the background. Oh, I can't really see it. Why is the church so special? It's because the church was um, uh, uh, involved in some scandal apparently. So it was like a, f a couple of years back, I think. Anyway. I'm reaching extensions. Looks like it's really closed. Because it's so dark. What the fuck? Okay, maybe maybe it's just this door, you know. Um let's, let's just oh boop! Oh, I almost fell down. It's so dark and eerie. Ooh, ooh. KFC oh, Dad, those water keep dropping on my head. That's where I bought my prata. Eh, no, I'm not eating prata. I'm eating mee goreng apparently. It's not here yet. Mmm, mee goreng. Well, I'm done eating, so now I'm walking back to hall. And hopefully I can catch some sleep. I'm trying to go for this food coma effect, so maybe I can finally sleep. But, oh yeah, only for 4 hours. I'm still slightly sick though, for some reason. Uh, happened today. But well, actually, I'm not really sick. It's more like allergies. Because I cleaned my room today and all the dust flew everywhere and they just started sneezing like crazy. <laughs> I'm crossing the road now. Yeah, I think the drivers are probably like judging me right now for holding a phone up to my face. Admire the view, guys. It's just... Well, there's nothing much interesting to see. So I'll be gone from tomorrow until around middle of July. I've gone back to home lah. I'll go back, catch up my mom, catch up my friends. Catch up with some nice Malaysian food, you know. Time for 
chilling and relaxation, you know, after one whole semester of crazy air stress and sh Back to the bus stop where we passed by just now. You may have noticed I drank kopi ping just now. And you may be wondering, why? Why when I can't sleep, I still drink kopi ping? But well, technically, kopi has no effect on me. I don't know why. So I can't rely on it to keep myself awake. You know, even if I cannot sleep, right, I thought like, why not I just not sleep anyway, you know? I can just stay up all the way till like, 8 o'clock and prepare to get out of my campus. I can always sleep on a bus. It's like 5 hours ride from here. Uh, 5 hours if the bus speeds, I think. No, 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 no. I, I somewhere there. Like, my estimation is always very bad. Ugh. You know what I want to do? I, I could like take you on a tour around the campus, you know, since not all of you have seen a campus before. People who are not in Singapore who's watching this. But then, you know, the campus is quite huge and, you know, I'm not really a big fan of walking. I just Google the pictures lah, okay? That's the overhead bridge there, if you cannot see. I don't know why I'm pointing it out. I mean, I thought the overhead bridge is quite interesting. You know, if ever you're driving around Singapore, you see an overhead bridge, like, oh, okay, NTU is nearby. Assuming this is the only overhead bridge lah, but of course it's not, so scratch that. Now, being a law-abiding citizen that I am, you know, it's red light now, so I shouldn't be crossing. But look at this, there's no cars around this place. Can I just cross? It's literally empty. Okay, there's one car coming. Oh, he's stopping. I like how everything in Singapore is named. Like, okay, every flyover has its own name. I guess it's, um, it's good if, you know, any happens, then you can reference a particular flyover you're, you're close by. Like if your car breaks down underneath this X and X flyover, then you tell the whoever who is going to fetch you or save you I, I'm under this X and X flyover, you know. Talking random crap now, huh? Crossing road again. Whew. Okay, um, I can smell my beat from here. So there's uh, this big signboard saying Nanyang Tech University. You cannot miss it. So if you come in here and see that signboard, you know you're in the the university. If you don't see, then you're not in a university. Does that make sense? Here's a roundabout. It's a roundabout because it's um you can go round and round and round the roundabout and not go anywhere. Haha. <laughs> Do you hear the frogs and are those frogs or toads? I can't tell. Let's hear them. Okay, we're entering the my hall. Oh god, my legs are screaming. Why are you walking, Billy? You shouldn't be walking, you know? I hate to walk. Get me a chair! You can either go to the basement or go up this hill to the, the driveway. That's Pioneer Hall there. That's the first hall you come in. Okay, I should be very quiet now because there are people sleeping. Okay, so now we're approaching. Okay, we walk through this way. Here's the big padang. Where people play games on it. What else do you do on the Padang? I don't know. You can lie down and stargaze. Oh, it's a very good stargazing place. Sometimes there's this um, guy on my floor. He has his own telescope. And so he brought it out during the, the time when Jupiter was at its closest, I think. I got to see like the planet itself. Jupiter, you can see the bands. Then, what's more interesting is that you get to see the four largest moons of Jupiter as well with that telescope. What is so astonishing is that those four same moons um, were first discovered by Galileo. So, it's like reenacting the, that moment in time when Galileo made his telescope and saw those four moons. You know, got to enter with a cave up. If you're seeing this video now, it meant that I recorded this last night. Well, I shall uh, go off now, bye.